Welcome everyone to Top Speed RC. I'm Paul. I'm Jake. And I'm Marv. This is our review of the Onyx 235 versus the Onyx 245. So, uh, Jake, do you want to take the specs on the 245? So, the specs on the 245, it's very similar to the 235 other than that it's a dual charger, independent dual charger, so you can charge a LiPo, a nickel metal, or there's a whole bunch of different things. They both do LiPo, Life, NICAD, nickel metal hydrides, and lithium ion. It does have built-in balancing, it, 10 model memory, and 0 to 8 amps. But what they don't tell you is that 8 amps is only if you're running a DC adapter to run like off a car battery or if you have a DC power supply. With the standard 120 volt plug, it'll only charge at 5 amps. That's the same with the 245. And so a little bit of a fibbing going on there, but it's all good. And one difference between the 245 versus the 235 <laughs> is that um, the there is no model memory in the 245. It is it's it's actually when I first got it, it kind of seemed not as good as the 235 not having the model memory, but it's actually nice because it's set to a LiPo default setting which is all I charge is LiPos. So all you do is you plug the LiPo in and hit start and it automatically detects whether it's 2 or 3S. And it's actually nice not having to go through your model memories and program them. And then also this another little difference between the 245 versus the 235. When you plug your batteries in on this, it tells you the volts that are in it. And then you can click. There's a button, the middle button. It's called data. And you can click on it and it will show each individual um, cell voltage and it will tell you your minutes that's been charging, the amps it's charging at. So it's just, it's a little that, bit. That just runs across the screen. Yeah, it runs across. Charging on Even though the, the 235 will not, it does not show your overall volts when you plug it in right away. And you have to wait till it starts charging and it will tell you how many is in the, the battery. Yes, but it won't show you right away when you plug it in. So it's just a little difference. Um, as far as their actual performance, I have noticed, because I had a 235 before this, the 245 does charge a little bit slower, like per individual battery. So say for instance we were charging a 2S battery, if it was charging on this one versus this, it would go a tad bit faster on this one, because it stays at 5 amps most of the t like almost the whole time, where this one will drop amps quite a bit sooner. And especially for 3S, 3S is quite a bit slower on this, but I mean, still you're getting two chargers. So if you need to charge two batteries at once, which I do, this charger is definitely the charger I'd go with. And it's not much more money. It's not that's 90. This was 120, I believe. So for 30 bucks, I would highly recommend. If you're running something this. like a Revo or a Yeti XL or something with with double batteries, it's nice to have that. I don't have any trouble. I just have a, right now I'm just running truck, single battery trucks and I don't have trouble keeping up with this. You just kind of plug it in and you go to sleep and you wake up and your batteries are done. 45 minutes later when you're going to sleep you hear beep 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 and it's really annoying. Um, what's included with the chargers? You get the main power lead and then this actually isn't included with the charger. It does, um, it's got a USB port on the side, which is nice for charging. Actually, while you're talking about that, that we can make, we can compare. That's also a difference between the 245 and 235. This one does not have a USB port on the side, nor does it have a 5 volt port on the side. And that's also, really nice for charging like your uh, rechargeable battery packs, and like uh, my remote has one of those and such. But they'll charge up to a 6s lipo, I believe. That's what the balance board is. Yeah, that's what the balance board is for. I don't think that it'll do up to six S, yeah. But another difference between the 245, 235, the power supplies are built permanently in on the 245. You cannot unplug the power supplies. If you're being a damp area, it might be almost smarter to have one of these because, as you can see, this one's grounded and that one's not. They have, they come with the two balance boards, so. Your standard and then your uh, flight power comes with Traxxas, Dean's Ultra, and then I don't know where it went. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, oh. Thanks to our 
producer, yeah, so, our yeah. director off screen. Yeah, the we way. have a, it also comes with a Tamaya plug, so you might as well throw that out the window, I'm sorry. But, um, <laughs> so that's what it comes with. They both come with that, well that one comes with two of everything. Yeah. But, uh, um, but overall in comparison of these two, pretty much similar, I mean. It would I, be nice if they had a, a uh, in comparison to other chargers instead of just themselves, it would be nice if they had a, uh, a discharge feature or a storage charge. Cause that'd be great other than trying to like half guess where your half charge is and estimate that but uh it'd be great if they had a storage charge that'd be one thing i'd like to see onyx do on these and maybe update to a little newer style programming in them more towards like the dynamite chargers or something that's just a little more advanced uh, but overall in comparison of the two um if, if you're not going to use the five volt port or the usb port which i never did when i had my 235 um, I would personally say, other than that, they're pretty much similar. Like I said, this will charge a little bit slower, but you're getting two batteries done at once for 30 bucks. I, I mean, I would, if you're ever going to have more than one battery, which you're probably going to, depending how much you get in RCs, even if you have a, a truck that's running, that's only using one battery, if you run two batteries at, say, say you go out an afternoon with your friends and run two battery packs, I mean, it's still nice to just go home and throw them both on, get them both charged instead of having to, you know, wait an hour and then switch. I mean, it's not a big deal, but if you if you do have a truck like a Rebel that uses two batteries, you're gonna want to get this. Or you're never you're gonna constantly be falling behind on um, charging batteries. So for thirty bucks, I would recommend this. And again, I had the two thirty five, which is a great charger. But I mean, it's thirty bucks more to get a second. I mean, it's basically getting a second charger of this, because like I said, it's independent outputs. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. They're both great chargers. It just depends on really how much you want to spend and what you're gonna do with it. If you're just running single battery trucks, it's not a huge deal. But if you're gonna be running dual batteries and you or you just want to, you know, get a little better charger, step up to the two forty five. So. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great evening or day or whatever <laughs> time it is there.